The folks at Epic Games have just announced a new price change for Unreal Engine, Twin Motion, and Reality Capture. Now, there are certain changes that are coming to these tools that we're going to be taking a look at, and it is quite interesting to see what the folks at Epic Games have done. Now, just a bit of a backstory most of the tools that Epic Games have purchased, including ArtStation and Sketchfab, they've relatively made most of them free, releasing the products, and some of them they actually cut down on how much you get to spend when using these platforms and this new update just like most of the other updates that we've gotten from the folks at epic games seems to be doubling down on that as if you go over to link in the description it's going to bring you right here where you can see this interesting update that has to do with the pricing so currently they're introducing a new seed based on real engine subscription once on real engine 5.4 gets released and the pricing model will be costing 1850 per seat and this would apply only to companies that are generating a million dollar and above in annual gross revenue and this is targeted for those those who are not creating games. So if you're creating it, probably you're into virtual production, visualization, and you're working with Unreal Engine, at this point, once your revenue goes above a million dollars in a year, you will be paying $1,850 per seat as they're not changing their licensing model for game developers who would continue to pay only 5% of royalty on products that exceed a million dollars in lifetime revenue. Of course, the first million dollars that will be generated from the games will be exempted from royalties, but moving on with every other million dollars, 5% would be paid. At the same time, Epic Games Unreal Engine will remain free for both students, educators and also hobbies, just as it has always been. This update is particularly tied to those who are using Epic Games Unreal Engine for every other thing minus game design. So this subscription will be affecting anyone that has a company that is generating over a million and you do not create games and probably you're creating applications that are licensed to third party end users that rely on Unreal Engine code at runtime. So another interesting update that we have here has to do with Twin Motion and Reality Capture, as they're currently looking at some interesting payment models. For those who are currently using Twinmotion, the community version, this is totally free and you can continue using it. Twinmotion is more or less a tool that simply gives you a lightweight version and an easy to use visualization capacity that Unreal Engine offers. This is more for those who are into design, product rendering, and most probably if you're into architectural visualization. And Reality Capture is a leading desktop photogrammetry solution that gives you the ability to create any kind of asset by transforming high resolution camera images into 3D scans. And for this new update, Twinmotion will be costing $445 per year as this subscription would also entail the twin motion cloud. At the same time, if you're also thinking about working with reality capture, individual seats will be costing $1,250 instead of the pay per input which is a very interesting model that they previously had. The pay per year versus the pay per input is kind of a bittersweet update as most of the times you only pay when you're going to use it. And just like Unreal Engine, Twin Motion and Reality Capture will be free to use for both students, hobbyists and also educators as well as companies that are earning less than a million dollars in gross revenue per year. So this is an interesting update and of course for those who would like to see more about this, you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can read up on it. Epic Direct support is also available for purchase at an additional cost of $1,000. $500. And this again is for companies that are earning over a million dollars in gross revenue. And for those who like to read up and see some of the interesting updates that are coming over to Unreal Engine 5.4, then you can simply go over to the link in the description and see all of this. And of course, for those who are also thinking about seeing and reading more about the dev community and see some of the interesting things that are going on here, then links to this is also going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.